Hi everyone, Dorota Paliska, international nail artist and educator, and today we are gonna be playing with some floral nails. Have we provided them here? I love that look, and I could wear it on my nails as well, as the flowers always goes with a lot of things. And I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial and learning this technique too. Also, if you're new in here, hit the subscribe button as we produce the content every Monday, Wednesdays and Saturdays. And to you guys, the ones which are staying with us for so long, thank you so much for every like, comment and share. Let's start! beautiful flower nail art you can see it here i actually really like it how they turn it out and they are not that hard actually to create and i will show you it step by step first of all please excuse my hands like they are really sore and wrecked uh, i cannot wait to do, redo my nails um, 225 that's a brown and uh, as you guys know i'm like not the biggest fan of the brown but i love this one uh, so we are gonna place it at different on every nail on this one, I want to put it on the side. Quite messy, to be honest, like the messier you do it, the better. And then take a small brush. So we are going to use the D-liner brush and kind of do a couple of the lines in there. Just to make it look almost like a wood, but not completely like the fast way to do some sort of wood design. So I'm just kind of brushing it away to create kind of line, messy look. Then give it a cook to it. And on this one, for a change, we will do it maybe like this, why not? And then just try to get those messy look. So I'm almost brushing away the gel polish which I have applied in there. And then give it a cook. Okay, once this part is done, we can start painting the flowers. And I'm using the one stroke brush. Um, personally, I prefer painting with the acrylic paints because they straight away dry and inst like instantly dry. So you don't wasting your time on cooking. Um, but here I have just picked up some white and tiny bit of those brown. I want my colors to be mixed really messy as well. Just because we've got white background, I want my white to be more of a beigey color so like i don't want to have um clean difference in between those colors like i want them to be really messy mixed up so my white is not white anymore okay and then on this one i'm gonna place the flower right in the middle so i'm just touching and painting the first petal Give it a small gap and paint another petal. Another one on the other side. Something on the bottom. And another one. So we have painted the first uh, layer of the petals. And here, like normally with the acrylic paint, I wouldn't have to cook it. I would just wait a couple seconds and I could paint the next row of the petals. When we're painting with the gel, we have to wait uh, for the curing time because you cannot apply the next row of the petals. If you're doing like on very simple flowers, um, it is okay um, because they don't have as many layered looks but I'm usually like to do a little bit more into my flowers. And then another petal. And another one. So basically it's just a touches of the brush um, to create this look. OK, 
Okay, next layer of the petals. So now, because I've got more of a beige kind of background, I want my white to be stronger. So what I'm doing is on the same mixture which I've got on the side of my mixing palette, I have picked up only white. So just white in there. And that will give me a touch lighter color. You can see it. The difference is just a touch lighter, so more visible. And I'm just painting a slightly smaller petals. Lifting the brush, actually, I know it's called one move, um, so we kind of should do it in one move. On a bigger surface, it is possible. On such a small surface, it can be quite tough. Now my brush is almost straight. And I have created another petal. To be honest, that might be actually enough for this one. So let's cook it. And do the same in here. So again, pick up my white. Place the petal in between the petals. Nice and slowly. Another one. This one, I'm just going to make it longer and let's cook it. So this tip is ready for the next step. So what we want to do it is apply the matte top coat over it. Mine has some sparkles in it. And then cook it. Here I might squeeze one more petal, so just picking up white. Ideally, I want this petal to go there. So very straight brush, only working with the tip of the brush. And then cook it. Clean my brush. And grab the next stuff which we're going to need. So that's the transfer foil gel. I'm just picking up a decent scoop of it on my mixing palette. And then apply the matte top coat over this one. I need to replace the products because they are just right at the end. I'm kind of fishing for it. There we are, cure it. And once, once we have cured it, I want to give it a gentle buff to it as well. Um, so using a UV cleanser, I'm removing, there isn't almost inhibition layer, but there is, if that makes sense. Um, I like to give it this clean and then use the buffer so my design will look cleaner. You can skip that, may, um, that part, but I just feel like it doesn't take long and just give you better results. Okay. Clean it, do the same in here, so just a drop of the UV cleanser and give it gentle buff. Clean it. Okay, D-liner brush, we are going to clean it because we have kind of make it a bit messy when we was doing the messy look. So you can see it, the brush even split a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm rolling it on my wipe to remove the product from it and try to reshape my brush. Then going into the gel, rolling it as well because I need my brush to be in shape. And then we can start painting the next part. So and here I want to go wavy, like really wavy, then another waves and another one.
on this part we can paint some leaves and I want them to be open so I'm not coloring them in I'm just doing a wee line inside and do some leaves here as well inside I want to do a couple of the dots but you want to make them pretty messy so just a few messy dots cure it <coughs> sorry guys and you want to cure it 30 seconds I'm full of cold but like there's no time of to recover Now, because my previous design didn't cook it well, I need to somehow fix it a little bit. So I'm placing my leaves in the place where I've got a bit of smudge. And then another ones, I want them here. So I want the leaf to come up all the way from here to the top. And then those ones, we are going to do them full color. I mean, obviously you cannot see it probably what I'm painting. Got a tiny bit of the cured product on my brush, so it keeps splitting a little bit. I might actually show you how I'm cleaning it as well. There we are, 30 seconds cure. Oh no, dots in the middle of the flower. Oh, actually splitted brush for the dots in the middle of the flower is awesome. But we need to fix it and I'm going to show you how I'm fixing my brush as well. So UV cleanser and I need to kind of scrape it away, the paint which I've got in there. But at the same time, I cannot damage my brush. So there is a paint, there we are here. I've got white which have been cooked probably. So I'm trying to gently remove it from my brush. You cannot do it uh, with the big pressure because it's cooked product. And that's who changed the shape of your brush. So, oh, there we are. I got it out. Is it all out? There we are. It is all out. So now I can use the UV cleanser again. There we are. And you can see it. It just come back to the shape because the cured product doesn't disturb it anymore. Gosh, I just seen it in the camera, like how zoomed in we are. So you can see it. Uh, the state of my nails as well. I'm quite proud actually guys because during all the renovation project I have just snapped my thumb that was on the beginning and then I have just chipped this one a little bit uh, but I cannot wait, cannot really wait to give myself nice and pretty set. <laughs> I'm taking a transfer foil and a rose gold color. My thumb is pretty sore on the back as well so I cannot press it hard but this looks so, this looks so pretty. Let's do it again. There we are. I love that. What else we can do it is just go with tiny bit of the UV cleanser and touch up the places we are not happy about. Then this one will be ready as well for a transfer foil. So again, press it. Press it on the side. Try to search each time clean piece of the foil so you don't transfer an inhibition layer from the foil gel into your tip, then the things looks much cleaner. Okay, happy with that. 
check if I have to clean it. I actually even look those, um, I actually even like those look um, where we've got those bits and pieces. It's kind of give it like uh, autumn feel to it even more, but I just removed that. Now, next step is to use the High Shine No Wipe Top Coat. So just cover the entire design with the High Shine. and cure it. This time we want to cure it for a 60 seconds, guys. I think it's pretty simple design and we need to fix this smudge. Uh, so if it would happen even on a client, I would kind of fix it. I, I feel like all the kind of nail art and, and the nail enhancements are working the way like you kind of fixing the things as you go uh, till you achieve the, the nicest possible look. Okay, so I can grab my tip, probably under cure a little bit as well, but that should be okay. I've got my white here. No, that's a too dirty white, so it will show up actually. And I wanted the white to be really white because before we have made our white to be quite dirty. <laughs> and you can see it, my brush behaves nice as well. I'm glad I could show you that uh, on the video. So what I want to do it is I want to highlight some of it. Actually, this one looks so pretty that I don't want to damage it. So the lines are going to be just somewhere like really nice and gentle. With those lines, you can also change the shape of the flower a little bit as well. So on the white part, I need to make it more outline it, just so it's visible more. You could even create an extra petal, so I can create an extra petal which wasn't there in here. There we are. And then on the brown part, I want to just add a wee tiny leaf as well. Nice and gentle one. I have removed the excess of the product because I want my leaves to be very delicate. Perfect. Give it a cure and again we want 60 seconds cure because uh, gosh i can't look at my middle finger um we have to do a 60 seconds cure because um you want your white to stay in and i'm not gonna top coat it anymore i mean the the amazing uh, part about the gel art paints is that you don't have to apply the top coat over it for a small design so if i would use it like on full color coverage of course you top coat it but for like a small, um, small detail like we're doing now, we can use no top coat. Okay, let's concentrate the rota. So this petal is here and you can split it. There we are. Let's make it to go inside. Perfect. Oh gosh, I'm terrible sometimes. There we are. Now let's fix the smudges. So now when I'm outlining with the white, I want to go outside my petals so I can kind of cover this smudgy area. I can create a new petal. Highlight those large petal. Actually make it a split so it comes up in here. Perfect. And then this one, let's make it, it, no, this one needs to go here. That looks pretty, actually, really pretty. So that was our smudge flower. Now it looks amazing. White leaf, I just, just so the things go together, I need to squeeze something white in here. And it has to be tiny again. That's too much product, so I have just removed 
that we are so behind with the videos that today is actually a Saturday and this video is coming up today and actually in a few hours so <laughs> we just wake up earlier this morning to be able to record that so we don't disappoint you guys I love this one uh, actually really really pretty hiding my nails okay let's cook it and then I can show you the final results and I do hope that guys you have <laughs> really <coughs> enjoyed those last minute video uh, which we have just recorded now <laughs> now the white doesn't have almost um, inhibition layer but there is a tiny bit of the residue in it and if I would sugar it I don't have to clean it I would just dust it away but for this one I need to just give it um, UV cleanser wipe I love this one actually you know why guys the ones I have did it in a camera I like them better than the ones which I was playing outside the camera so let's place them in the middle and then this one is ready as well I can just give it a gentle wipe and place it here absolutely amazing like I do love how they turn it out again I wouldn't thought that um, using this color will look so so amazing and so pretty so I do hope you really enjoyed it if you did hit the share button and also all the products we have used uh, in this video are available on our, on our website sending you huge glittery hacks and bye for now